My name is Jev Glazanova. I am a customer centricity advocate and a CRM consultant. I'm also very passionate about quality education. I'm myself a trainer and facilitator. And on top of that, I'm a proud alumni of the St. Gallen University MBA, which I finished back in 2015 as a part-time class. Oh, that was a wonderful experience to come back to university and be able to give back to university. I was invited to share my program around customer centricity as a part of an elective back in 2021. Yes, correct, right after the pandemics. And the feedbacks and readings were pretty good. So I have been invited again uh, in 2022. And now in 2023, I'm already expanding this program and have a huge honor to teach it as a full-time MBA curriculum. It's a super interesting experience. It's like dancing into shoes, <laughs> right? It's seeing both parts of this world, so to say. Of course, it was almost nostalgic to come back and be in this room, in this building, where I used to sit in that same chair and remembering how much information was there, how much uh, preparation for the new exams or anything like that, but also building friendships for life. And now I get to see the other side of it, of how, what does it mean to be a lecturer? What does it mean to be prepared? And knowing what you want to say and what you want to, uh, to do with the class. For example, I had 45 students to interact with, to engage with, and of course, everyone has their own levels of knowledge or experience in this um, in this area, so that was pretty interesting. Hybrid, I think, in many cases is referred to the online, some people are online and some people are in, in presence, but I would say I was literally experimenting with the whole format of the, of the course, which lasted three weeks, which meant, you know, you need to also combine different activities, different ways of learning, different formats. So for me, it was really the combination of self-study and in-class learning. The self-study included very different formats. I was experimenting. There were quizzes and self-learning cases and podcasts with the experts from the industry. Um, and then, of course, in-class, we also did a lot of different activities, hands-on activities in the best possible way. You need to do something in order to understand how it works and then to learn it for a long time. I think the difference between having a professor and a practitioner in a class is that there, is an, there are different expectations. With a professor, you know that this person, whether it's he or she, they have a depth of experience, a depth of expertise, a depth of what they have studied, learned, um, explored in a really detailed manner. So you can engage in a very deep conversation about a particular topic. And of course, knowing that they have earned those credentials and know exactly what they're talking about. When it comes to practitioners, I think it's a little different world. And this is what I said to my, to my students as well. I'm bridging the gap between the know what and know how. Because think about it this way, in real, words, in real world, we don't always need the whole depth. We don't have a lot of time to study one thing for, for a long time. In, in real business scenario, you typically have two or three hours to solve a problem. And so practitioner takes the breadth of different topics, areas, cross-functional uh, projects, brings it all together and knows how those elements are working. 
the course called customer and so it gave me a very good freedom to experiment what I would bring under this umbrella. It's not just a marketing course, it is really a creative mix of different disciplines including marketing and sales and data and technology and strategy and even finance, so how it all works together. And so then if we think about the interactive elements, I put my bets on two things. One was the group exercises, very interactive, very hands-on. My students were engaged in creating a persona or mapping a customer lifecycle journey or customer journey um, you know, over different stages. What kind of frustrations and pains are we solving for the customer? And so they were really engaged in the real life scenarios and then presenting in the morning some selected teams of what they come up with right away you do something you come you present you see how it works and you see how it works in the business knowing that businesses are actually applying it that was the first highlight with the very interactive hands-on exercises and the second highlight was definitely the wharton um, customer centricity simulator i found this is an experience which is as close to real life as possible. And it also gives a very safe atmosphere to make mistakes, to see what works, what doesn't, and where they can improve. Because it was literally teaching students to um, use data for decision-making, to see how profitable or not their activities are, whether they are playing offense, meaning acquiring more customers, or defense, meaning investing in retaining customers, and how do they use customer lifetime value and maximize that in the long term. What I really try to bring uh, into the class is the wealth of knowledge through the experts. I have a very wide community or network of different people in different industries who came in as guest speakers and shared their stories, their expertise and real uh, life scenarios in, in business for different topics. And of course, the, something to, to definitely mention is the final project where the students had to take everything they've learned during the three weeks and apply it into a final project for a company. So in January, for example, we had um, one of the leading Swiss job posting platform companies who came in with their case and so the students had to make their suggestions in terms of how to move the freemium users into premium users, uh, thinking about persona in detail, mapping customer journey, using marketing automation approach, suggesting lead scoring scenarios and criteria, and finally some ideas on the A-B testing. That was impressive. Oh, what a wonderful question, because that was definitely the most rewarding and fulfilling part of the whole experience. To be in the room with 45 students who are smart, curious, open to learn and grow and asking questions and wanting more, this is so motivating, this is so engaging. And of course, at the end of the whole uh, course, sitting in those final presentations, and seeing how students are conversing on par with the company after just three weeks. I was very proud and the company was impressed. Openness, engagement, critical thinking, memory, <laughs> and of course, yeah, willing to participate because I'm willing to give as much as I have. I worked for a lot of small and big companies, multinational, local, and there is a wealth of experience that I share. And so whoever wanted to get the most out of it, they did.